Well, hello, guys. and Strange here. So, today I'm reviewing Walter's Mainline F40 uh, PHI. Oh, no, it's not a PHI. It's a uh, PH. I think means uh, integrated or something uh, for the modern. DCC and Sound Phase 3. This was an older run, but I've actually uh, brand new 15 minutes of run time on my own part, so... This is a fairly brand new locomotive for the age of There's it in its uh, packing. Now, Walters did it where you can just kind of pop it in your hand. Now, before I get into the review of this locomotive, um, one quick thing is it does not have a start up. It automatically just goes into uh, running. But the thing is, with the uh, F40, it was based off the Jeep 38-2, if you didn't know that, uh, because it's a four-axle passenger locomotive. P42 is a six-axle. Um, I, I like the F40s more, but then the Siemens Charger with their horns, I love them. Um, so here is it from no power to power. Uh, this is not a modern, um, modernized one, so it just has a light in front. One is a bell. Two's horn. With a beautiful K5 LA uh, first gen. Three's short, uh, the short horn. Four, five, six, seven. No functions. Eight mute. Nine no function. Ten light. There's the uh, rear light on here. That was the notch up. Um, yep. Um, here is uh, locomotive grab irons right there. Trucks. Fuel tank uh, details. Uh, there's not much detail in here due to it's a budget friendly model, which I like. Doesn't have to be like all, all like Genesis, but that would still. The emergency light that does not work. The class lights. The well, no horn I'll get into. So that's the emergency light, um, marker lights, front head light, snow plow, no MU hoses. You can it has a hole for them. Uh, other side of the locomotive uh, has more grab irons due to this door for I believe that's for the engine room. I'm not sure. I've been in a cab of one, Metrolink one that um, is getting rebuilt in my hometown. Um, rear end of the locomotive with the marker lights, uh, class lights if you want to call it, the, the roof detail, K5 LA, radiator, dynamic braking, and the three radiator uh, fans. This locomotive is pretty uh, nice. I would rate this on scale 1 to 10. The sound is 8 because it does not have a startup feature. That's for a high-end locomotive though. For a budget-friendly, I would put this as a 10 all the way. Uh, pulling power, I run a uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, 9 passenger cars with it. Amtrak. All phase 3. Oh, actually, two are phase 2. Uh, um, here, one second, let me show you. If you count the two material handling cars as passenger cars, I counted those. But there are the two step down coaches, so I put these together to phase 2. That's for another time. But um, I would put the sound features on there as, like, everything's a 10 for a budget-friendly. High-end, 8, but that's not supposed to be high-end. It's supposed to be budget-friendly. Great sounds. Everything's perfect on that locomotive. I did have a short problem with it with the drive shaft. I took it apart and uh, re-glued it. If you do have that thing, you just have to take off the shell after uh, unscrewing it to get four-wheel drive, uh, four-axle drive on the locomotive. Um, that really helps when you're pulling heavy freight, uh, not freight, passenger, but 
actually with the surplus of F40s, they did become into freight. So did the Go Rail. But I'm going to take off, guys. See you next time.